we also have custom books made. So I don't know if you guys ever heard of Wonderbly. So mm -hmm. on that site, you can pretty much uh, customize a book in a sense that you can put your child's name in it. And you can also kind of choose the character that you want reflected in the book. So you can choose skin tone, whether it's a, a male or female. Sure. And I think like the hair texture usually changes as well. So that's pretty dope. It is dope. But yeah. the thing is, I think maybe a little uh, subconsciously, we've been choosing the dark skin girl. Mm -hmm. And so I noticed that one day we have like three or four books with, with the dark skin girl in it. And I, I said to my husband, I was like, just random, like randomly, I, I said, do you think that we're going to give her a complex? Mm. Right. Yeah. And I said that because like, all, I think that I gravitate towards these dark skin characters because that's who I am. Right. I am a dark yeah. skin woman and I didn't have that growing up. So perhaps sure. I'm just like looking for it or, you know, it's just, it just catches right. my eye. And, um, but I have to, I think. I have to remember, not that I don't know, but I have to remain um, conscious. Out of the, yes, right. Use that, the psychology cognizant. Yeah, because you love that word. You love that word. Stop using that word so much. You love that word. So I was going to say gotta, it for I gotta, you. <laughs> but, I got to teach you a new word. No, that's you. But <laughs> I have to keep at the top of my head that yeah. black people come in all shades. And that's for something sure. I want her to know. So yeah. I, I think that in order for her to to be proud of who she is and what she looks like on the mm -hmm. outside as well, as well as the person she is on the inside, yeah. I have to make sure that we have books and, and I guess, dolls or whatever else in our home that yeah. actually reflect her identity. So there's two things I want, maybe three things I want to touch on. So the mm -hmm. one you just touched on was um, about not creating a complex, uh, which is valid and um, factual, right? It, yes. It's a, I think something that's a reality. Um, especially when you have mixed with children, it's completely just a different reality than we ever had to uh, be aware of, right? Because yes. when you're just in a, a single race household, you're affiliated with what that race versus when you're in a mixed race household, you don't know whether you're this or that, or if you can find common ground with either one. So um, with with what you said, one thing that is cool and interesting about, um, and, and we mentioned it in the trailer, about having a mixed family is that it causes you to self-reflect, right? It causes mm -hmm. you to look at, at yourself. Yeah. So in doing things like only pri primarily looking for dark um, figures in books. You, dark it causes, skin figures. Yeah, dark yes. skin figures. Yeah, dark skin figures in books. It causes you to reflect and be like, all right, this is kind of what I'm doing for myself in mm -hmm. reality because yep. it doesn't really reflect my daughter. And the reason I'm doing this is to bring awareness to my daughter and bring some type of um, uh, self-value, right? Exactly. Make her know yeah. that she's valu valuable and that there are amazing stories about her as well. Right. So I think that's one of the cool things about having a mixed family. It causes you to have to self-reflect mm -hmm. because there's so many things that that people in, as a, in, in general um, do subconsciously, um, whether it's biased or not, mm -hmm. but it's just things we do subconsciously that we don't actually notice or that we're not aware of. So right. I think that's that's a great thing that you can be self-aware enough to say, all right, wait a second. Am I actually doing this for her? Am I doing right. this for me? It's mm -hmm. almost like a form of like self-therapy to a degree because mm -hmm. you have to. If, if you want to um, better your child and, and make them the best person, the most um, the most self-reliant and self-aware uh, person, I think. I probably used that mm -hmm. word aware already, I'm sure. But that's but just the word that works best. Yeah, yeah. The most yeah. self-aware and self-realized person you have to um, think about those things. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like I said, if you're in a, a one one race or one ethnicity household, it's there. Like, this is you. Like, right. it's, it's everywhere, right? right. Um, versus that. Going back to kind of like why... Wait, just, just to say sorry. And I yeah. think it's such a fine line, too, because uh, as I'm pretty sure I said before on, on our podcast, it's like, I want to make sure that I... I share how proud I am of our culture with my child. And in doing so, I have to make sure like I'm I, like like you mentioned before that we're not just putting this this weight on their shoulders. Sure. That they have to live up to this. So uh, same thing with complexion. I don't want her to start to feel bad because she does not look exactly right. like me. Right. For sure. No, that's a fact. Um, yeah, I think I think that's something that 
especially with I, I'd say especially with girls because um, girls are more into their looks in general, right? Mm. In general, girls are more conscious of their of their appearance um, in a lot of ways versus uh, I don't know what that slide I was about. But, because um, like I, yeah, you always what's the disagreement, bro. What's the no, disagreement? The, the what are disagreement we is because did like put a mascara on before this. Did oh I yes, put, but did you not put on that button up? Why did you put bro, on that button? You talking up? about a button up, bro? Come okay, because you think you look good. You talk, dudes, just wake up and go. What are we talking oh, about, man? Oh, why, so you don't look at your this? you don't look at yourself in the mirror. I'm not. Saying you never we're, thought I'm not like, oh, is my lineup before you went bald? Is my lineup good? I'm not saying we're not conscious. First of all, I is it shape up good? I didn't go bald, boy. <laughs> My hairline was going back. Receding, boy. So let's boy. <laughs> let's get that straight. I can still grow hair. It ain't gonna but look that good, but I can still grow it. All right. It's not, so let's do that. It's not on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna stick with what I say because because there's there's a lot more there's a lot more there's products. a lot more on, society hold on, hold on. pressure. Yes, sure. for women. There's a lot more products that relate to um to women who care about their looks in that capacity as much Rogaine. as they want to do. Bro, they got they got full grown. Can sections. we talk about? They got. I'm full about to sections. put you on blast. Can we talk Yo, about your explore what? page on what? Instagram? That's working out. That's health. What uh, you talking oh, about? But that's that health. does not have to do with physical appearance. That's health. That's making sure I last long enough to watch my kids grow up. That's, that's health. health. That's not about what you look like on the outside. That's a that's a consequence. That's of not being about you being able to wear short shorts on the beach. You <laughs> 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 ah, got some short shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, you can't be doing that. <laughs> that's a good one, yo. <laughs> so trash for that. So corny for that one, yo. Yo, that's corny. But anyway, I'm, I, I don't care, man. I'm going with what I'm going with because this is whatever. Yeah, okay. I, got, I got damn near entire. What's that, what's that? Um, that store they be having in the mall. I don't know what the hell it is. The whole makeup store and shit, man. They Sephora, got, Ulta, so, sure. Ulta, yeah. They got whole mm-hmm. things about this. If you look in beauty, there's there's the the, the revenue generated from women in beauty is going to be way more than the revenue generated from men. It so is. It is sure. what it is. Sure. Sure. But anyway, so my point in saying that mm-hmm. is that damn, you made me free. I was just talking about. <laughs> <laughs> my point my point in saying that is that um it's, it's it's great that you were you were um aware enough to do that because i feel like it would be even more important to um to a little girl to look like her mother you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. because because to you you are the identity of beauty mm-hmm. mommy's beautiful mommy's pretty my daughter says all the time mommy's so beautiful mommy's so pretty mm-hmm. so and the fact that you may not look alike in the skin tone area. Um, the fact that you can realize and still encourage and, and, and say, even though we don't look alike in that area, you're still beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's super important. Whereas a son, it's, I feel as though it's not, that's not really what happens. You know what I'm saying? Not as much. It happens, but certainly not to that degree. I know that sure. I wouldn't be surprised if my if, if my son's like walking around saying, oh, daddy's so handsome. I can't imagine him saying that because I would never say that. Even as a kid. Yeah, but all right, sure. I I, I agree so, with that what's, point. What's the argument now? AJ? No, what's no, argument it's now? not what's an argument. Sexist argument. What am I doing wrong? Now? <laughs> Boy, you putting those damn. words out there. I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> I am just saying that there are men also go through like body image. One hundred percent. One hundred. Yes, I, I do agree that there is more pressure for women, and that's because it's coming from both sides. Yeah. It's come from all sides. It's come from society. It's come from yeah. men. It's come from women. So yes, there is more pressure for women. But I only to said that in re- certain. Excuse me to attain <laughs> a certain level of beauty. For sure. But I'm yeah. only saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking mm-hmm. about it in the context of relation to mother looking like daughter, a father, agree, yes. and and saying that mother's beautiful, blah blah blah. And then if that's if that's your exemplification and your identity mm-hmm. to beauty and your what what you perceive as beauty, which is most daughters will say, "Mommy's beautiful," uh-huh. and that will be their perception of beauty. Sure. So in your scenario, um, which your daughter doesn't have the same skin tone or whatever, mm-hmm. um. Uh, it's important like you were doing and you're saying you're becoming aware of to still identify her as beautiful because the reality is you're not going to look exactly alike. Right. right? Whereas yeah. if you were the same race, you'd probably look more so alike and, yes. and, and you know, in certain features and stuff. <clears throat> God damn. 
Do you think this is so like a tangent, right? Yeah, this is. But all right, I'll cut so it up for some so shit. yeah, but since you are a man who works out often, mm -hmm. do you think that it is possible for your son to be like, "Wow, dad works out. I want to attain a body or oh, you know, yeah. like his." Okay. I'm gonna push him to do it <laughs> for sure. It's not, <laughs> okay. it's not a question. <laughs> My son has an amazing. He has a much better natural build than I do. As as a baby, I can tell. Okay, so I'm going to push him to um fulfill that potential that that body can be for sure so an athlete just bring me along with you guys all right because <laughs> <laughs> my man's got a amazing build i noticed yeah. that from the day he was born literally since he came out of my wife i was like oh shit like he's he's built very nice <laughs> literally in a hospital like i'm dead wow. ass. i'm dead ass. when he came out and i saw his thick ass thighs oh my <laughs> god i said oh, my man's my man's is, is solid <laughs> so that was that <laughs>